Alrighty, guys and gals, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I'll be your host this evening. I'm Big E. Mm -hmm. We are back in a uh, classic wrath. Classic wrath. We are on our undead warlock. There he is, right there. He goes by the name of Sorrow. Greetings, Greetings says he. I worked my way over to Ogremar here. Is that Drew? Oh no, that's not Drew. What's up, Drew? A little inside joke between me and you, uh, Drew. He probably hates it by now, but I can tell you right now, that's Touch Me Nancy, if anybody doesn't know. Uh, that's going to be a thing on the channel for as long as I live. <laughs> so find something to make fun of me about and do it often. Um, We are going to head over to the Undercity, and then we're going to take a fly to... I can't remember the horde post there. Arathi Highlands. And we're going to be working on chopping off some heads. We have three heads to chop off. And I'm all about it. I'm all about some head chopping off. Yes, I am. Oh, that was off. Anyway, how you guys and gals doing, man? Look at all these crazy looking mounts. I feel like I'm in retail. There was a dragon mount up here. It was called the Festering Emerald something. I've never even heard of that mount before, but it's here in Wrath of the Lich King. I'm doing alright. This comes out on a... Holy moly, this is supposed to come out tomorrow. Today's Monday. This needs to come out tomorrow, and I'm recording it at 7 p.m. <laughs> I have noticed YouTube, I think they, they made a change or something, because videos used to take I'm talking about up to two days to process before you got the HD, especially if you're somebody he does in 4K. But they have gotten a lot better, I, I have to say. Look how dark it is here. Spooky. I need my brim. I need my hat, man. I mean, I need my New York brim and my gold tooth display. Phono Jam might know what that's from. Anybody know what those lyrics are? I mean, don't look them up. You either know what they are or you don't. I was rolling down the road in my V8 Ford. I had a shine on my boots. I had my sideburns low with my New York brim and my gold tooth display. Nobody give me trouble because they know I got it made. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm nationwide. I probably got those lyrics out of order. <laughs> Such an awesome song, man. It's ZZ Top, all right? You listen to some old school ZZ Top, man. Those dudes got down. <laughs> Billy Gibbons, just an absolute legend. Dusty Hill, recently passed away. And then Frank Beard. I'm pretty sure that guy's still doing it. And we're not going to make it. Ugh. I think his, his guitar tech took over for him. I'm pretty sure. Mm, 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 mm. They had the coolest videos in the 80s, man. The coolest videos they had. Who was that? Was that guy talking to me? No. What do my bags look like? Ah, I guess they're okay. What now? Oh, she's the one who asked the quest. What would you ask? What do you mean, what now? Hammerfall. We're going to Hammerfall. What a great staff this is. I was trying to get into a uh, battleground, but I gave up. I only sat in the queue for about a half an hour. <laughs> Said unavailable. Unavailable. The Basin and the Gulch. Been a while since we did any PvP, and that's honestly, that's kind of the reason that uh, you don't see it a lot anymore because my, you know, my time's a little more squashed. I don't have 
as much time as I have. So, same thing with dungeons. Now, there, there's some people running. There are some people running. I saw two people our level range with like 12 dungeons checked. They're just like, whatever you want to do. If you're running a dungeon, I'll do it. <laughs> but uh, this is Sky Fury, and uh, it's not quite as popping as it used to be. That's for sure. So we're going back to some of this for a little while. Also, I'm kind of sad. There is at least one of our main Let's Plays that's going to be put on hold for a little bit. And the Shaman... Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to be doing the Shaman. Bloke, our cool tiered Shaman in retail. I have a lot of fun on him. Some of the most fun episodes... <laughs> The quest dialogue and the NPCs, uh, I, just, I do have a lot of fun. It's not the most popular. More people are watching it now than when I first started doing it. But I think we just were like level 52, something like that. It's kind of crazy how quickly you level up there. Because I play it... Well, I actually play it a little more often because that was releasing every other day. Well, it's it was every other day. And then recently it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But uh, he will be retiring for a little bit. I might take him to level 60, which probably, honestly, is only going to be two or three episodes. And then we're going to put him on hold for a little bit. Things are, have changed drastically for me at work. I did put out a video yesterday. And there's a poll on the channel. And i thinking about it. I should have played it differently. No, actually, I think I played it okay. I'm interested to see the results. But Bloke, he, he doesn't have many more left. But I've I've got to I've got to drop at least two things if I want to stay on top of it because I'm like right now like I said I have nothing releasing tomorrow. <laughs> this video is releasing tomorrow at 10 a.m. at 7 p.m. and it takes a little while. So, but anyway, they're not going away forever. I don't know about bloke, but whoever's chosen. It's, uh, you know, it's really between Holy, Sorrow, and Finn. Yeah. The Hardcore Challenge is always going to be going on. Even if that was the only Let's Play I had on the channel, I just love them. They're a lot of fun for me. The challenge of it, coming up with, uh, like, fun rule sets. And I've got a lot of feedback about uh, what I should potentially do. I can tell you, though, uh, whatever the fate of Exabyte is... However far we get there, the challenge we'll be doing after that is an Iron Man challenge. And I've got two episodes recorded. They've just not been posted or released yet because uh, I had a feeling things were going to change with work. And they did a hell of a lot quicker than I thought. So, But, you know, there's a bright side to this. There is a positive, even though I don't like letting go of Let's Plays. And like I said, we're not letting it go forever, but I'll be able to focus a little bit more on some of these core characters because some of these are playing once a week and I'll get on the character and I, I like I just what do I do what do I press what's my <laughs> what's my rotation it's kind of like that and it's, professions are the same way it's so hard to get into them and mm -hmm. but I like the variety you know variety is the spice of life this is where we're coming Dabberies. I never knew how to say that we're coming to the farmstead here, and I think there are three NPCs walking around. That might be one of the bastards right there. We need the heads. To steal from thieves, the harlot, the swine. Kanata still lives, her family healthy and prospering, while I suffer. Forsaken indeed. My family is gone, taken by the plague. Our estate also forfeit, looted and burned during the war. And after all that... Her and her lousy children had the audacity to steal our precious belongings. The only ones I had left. I don't care about the things they stole anymore. What I want now are their heads. <laughs> Kill them. Go to uh, Dabbery Farmstead in Arathi, northeast of Refuge Point. Let's do it. We've done this. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to say recently. What other Horde character may we have might we have done this on? Maybe this isn't a no. This is an alliance quest because this is an alliance farm. Interesting. 
I might pick this up. Let's roll by and pick this up. This might be something we can work on. We'll uh, review that quest if we do it. Let's get this up. Oh, where's my pet, man? So we did get the Fell Hunter, yo. Yes. And I was told this is the ultimate warlock pet. One of the ultimate warlock pets. Now, I, sacrifice doesn't work with them. I like sacrifice a lot. But... This fell intelligence increases intellect by 12 and spirit by 18. That is nice, I gotta say. So, uh, we'll be rolling with the old fell hunter here for a little while. Get him. Let's see how he does here. So he doesn't have a taunt, right? Like, this isn't the Void Walker, but I think he does fairly decent DPS. He also has this nice ability called Devour Magic. Now, it does cost 100 of his mana, but he's got a lot of mana there. Eight second cooldown. It purges one harmful magic effect from a friend uh, or one benefic beneficial magic effect from an enemy. So it essentially removes a hot or a dot. Now, you can look at it different ways. If the effect is devoured, it heals the Freak for 230. Yes. We like getting our Freak healed. We also have a Soul Shard bag, which I'm really happy about. A lot easier to manage them. And how many can we hold in this bag? It is a 16. We can hold 16. So I could have six more there, because... Uh, well, you know what it is. It's quick wizard math. That's what it is. I may change... Oh, let me just stand here. I might change that uh, key, that macro now. Since we're going to be using... Depends on what we're doing. Like, if, I, if I'm going up against an elite or something, I'm going to want the Void Walker for the Tauntage. But I might change this up or just create a new one for um, Slew Rune here. I'm glad his name changed. When I summoned him before, he had Juck Crush or whatever the Void Walker's name was. He had the same name. It was a little bit bugged there for a minute. So he has his own name. Slew Rune. <laughs> I think one person we need might be here. In fact, I think he's just around the back here. Let's go see. Anyway, my point was this macro causes my pet to attack, and I also put corruption up on the target because we do have the instant shadow bolt proc chance with corruption. That's why I like getting it up right away. This is who we need. What I might do for the... Um, uh, this guy... Actually, it doesn't matter. Never mind. I'm just... I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, you got a head on you? He does. He does have a head on him. I like that. I'm out of range. Uh, he doesn't have a taunt, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to pretty much pull. Probably. Like, right off the bat, so it doesn't really matter. I guess my point was, I was cha thinking about changing the macro to where my I ca start casting Emulate. Uh, and sends my pet in. In fact, if I did that, I might actually do that. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, this needs to be this way. If I do it like that, corruption needs to be last. I'm going to change this really quickly. Uh, where's my... Here it is. It should be here. Yeah, so let's do... We'll cast uh, emulate. So we're going to re replace this. Then I've got my auto attack up there. I don't think I need rank 4 in there. I wonder if I can leave it like that. Let me see. 
I don't think I need rank four like that. Wait a minute. What? Oh, is that because of that? Save? Why isn't it showing me the tooltip? Did I do something wrong? It should show me the tooltip of this. Which means this can go... Oh my god, I'll put that up there. This all moves down. Let me see if this works. This happened before. Oh, yeah, it's not working. I think I've got to take that rank four out, maybe. We'll see. I don't think this is better. The thing about emulate, it does initial fire damage, so I'm going to pull. But I think I'm going to pull initially with whatever I do. Is this fun to watch? <laughs> Also, do I need auto attack there? I don't think I do. I don't need auto attack in there. I'm not sure why I had that. I don't think I need to change that. Yeah, it shouldn't say go. It should say the tooltip, which is the first. Oh, no, wait. Now, this might be. What if I just do this? Is this maybe... Because pet attack doesn't have... Let's see if that works. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's see if it works. Still not working. I'm still not casting emulate. Why is that? Yeah, I think I'm changing that back. It doesn't really make any sense. I know you guys see exactly what's happening. What the hell? Oh, cast. That's why it's not working. I have to cast. Emulate. <laughs> That's why it's not working. What am I doing? Now it's showing me the tooltip. Yeah, I didn't have it in there, right? It's like, what do you mean emulate? Do you mean cast it? There we are. But this does need to change. I need to get my... Actually, I need to get corruption up right off the bat. Double up on that. It's horrible. You witnessing this? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I get unfamiliar with the character. Hello there. Of the monkey. Of some agility. Yeah, this is fine. So I still get my corruption up. Chance to proc. It is with... Corruption. Oh, it's corruption and drain life. That's interesting. So this... I know this is weird, what I'm doing. <laughs> This needs to go like this. Because, like, boy, man. Must be fun to be a button clicker. <laughs> I'm going to fill my bags up here. Get 16 of these. I may as well, right? Oh, I didn't loot this. So, who we need should be right in here. Right there. Hello, Kanata. I know somebody who doesn't like you. <laughs> they don't like you at all. Instant. I didn't realize that Drain Life could also do that. Can also proc my um, Shadow Trance state, or whatever that's called. Kind of neat.
Ah, we need one more. Let's get one more soul shard. Bags are full of soul shards. All right, let's uh, let's mana up here. Let's eat a peach, as the Almond Brothers would say. Where's my cannibal eyes? Right there it is. Eat a corpse, eat a peach. They almost named the album Eat a Corpse, but record label didn't like it. They're like, mm, I don't know. I think I might like this rotation a little bit better because it allows me to get emulate up and uh, Curse of Agony, of course, is instant. So it allows both of these to tick off. There he is. There's our old Marcel Darby. Bastard. Unbelievable. The crimes you have committed. And that's why we're taking your head. That's exactly why we're taking it. Maybe I had auto attack in there. Does that trigger my wand? I don't think it does. That might have been why I had it in there. Who knows? I probably had it in there because I'm terrible. I mean, if we're being honest. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Where the hell did you come from? It's like on me the whole time. Get him, slow, slew rune. Almost said slocum. I think I had another. Um, this was probably some years ago. I feel like I had a uh, fellhound named Slocum. Well, that is it for that quest. What are we doing on time? Let's, have, let's make this a short episode, so you guys might be seeing slightly shorter episodes. Uh, what we might be doing is focusing on, like, one quest at a time, depending. But um, let's see if I can get the videos between 20 and 30 minutes. A lot of the videos on the channel end up... Probably the average is, uh, I bet, 40 minutes. Somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. But many of them are about an hour. Somewhere an hour purposely, uh, our City Skylines episodes are generally pretty much all an hour. But that's only once a week. But um, maybe I'll try to I'll try to do that. I, I just wing it. Usually what I do is right before I hit the record button, I just look at the quest logs like, all right, I'll do this and this. And then it's just winged. I don't really plan too much. And sometimes I don't even do that. Sometimes it's like, well, let me see what we're going to do this episode. <laughs> spontaneous, man. I'm trying to be spontaneous. What now? I wonder if that would sell. I've got another boy. We have a lot of stuff in our bags. Why is this in my bag? We Oh, I can't sell this. I guess I get rid of it. Why is it telling me this? Is this a special thing here? I think that's why I still have it in the bag because I couldn't sell it. And I was like, like, what is that? What do I do with it? Um, I don't think I care about the king's blood. I don't know when I got those. Probably a quest reward. I could sell that. That's that thing. Why does that say Ice Crown Citadel? I'm just going to sell it. I don't think I care about it. All right, it'll free up a little bag space. i got to get rid of this. We're going to make a trip to the old uh, auction house, I believe. But right now, we're going to take a fly. Strength and honor. I say honor and strength. Dabu. Dabu. This video is going to go over half an hour anyway. <laughs> Why? Because I never set hearthstones. <laughs> Ever. We'll go turn this in. And I'll do probably do the auction house stuff off camera. Mm-hmm.
<laughs> Barely eaten today. I'm not exaggerating. I've had two bites, two spoon spoonfuls of peanut butter. <laughs> Protein and fat. The keto way of eating is pretty incredible. I've never felt so good. Well, that's not true. I've, I've had periods of my life where I ate really healthy for years. But I do feel good. And I had put on a little bit of weight around the stomach and stuff. Gone. So easy to lose weight on this diet. Just It just takes a little bit of willpower. But, uh, you know, so I eat twice a day, four hours apart, and then I fast for 20 hours. But I've gotten a little bit not so strict with myself. So I'll, you know, if I feel a little bit hungry, uh, there are these really delicious things called fat bombs. I'd never even heard of them before. It's basically a treat, but they're, um, it's got natural sugars in it. It doesn't have white refined sugar and all that garbage. And it's high fat, high protein. They're delicious. I'll just eat one of those, or I don't eat. I don't eat more than uh, two or three of those a day. And usually, I just eat one. Sometimes not at all. But I'll go in there and get a bite of cottage cheese, uh, or a can, like a can of tuna. You know. Mm -hmm. But I do try to. Like, that would be a lot. A can of tuna would be a lot. That's if I'm having, like, a really rough day and I'm just starving. I feel like I just can't. I don't have the willpower. I'll eat a can of tuna or something. And I know this sounds like, what, are you, like, a prisoner of war? No. <laughs> because the two meals I eat are really filling and healthy. And I honestly, my body has gotten used to ketosis, you know. Um, and I actually have kind of always liked feeling hungry. I, that's kind of a weird thing maybe to some people, but I like that feeling because it feels like I'm more alert. I'm not lethargic or sluggish. Maybe that's just specific to me, but look at this beautiful, beautiful thumbnail opportunities. And I'm talking about ketosis. <laughs> if you don't know what ketosis is, ketosis is uh, it happens when you're fasting uh, your body stops burning the stored sugar in your body and you burn actual body fat. Really healthy state, really healthy place to be in. And I love that feeling. Just think about it. If you're like, when you overeat and you're just stuffed and full, you're just, it's like, ugh, it's terrible, right? You can't even move. <laughs> I hate that feeling. So I don't, I don't go there anymore. I've eaten a couple times though, it's like after the 20 hours fast, that first meal I eat, I've overdone it a few times. I'm talking a big, giant plate of salad with nothing but healthy stuff in it. And, and then like chicken, fish, or meat. Um, and s something else, some kind of delicious vegetable or something. But I no longer eat bread, potatoes, rice, like that starchy carbohydrate stuff. No sugar. The only sugar I have comes from, uh, it's, they call it allulose. It comes from like coconut and other types of like dates and raisins and things. It's so good to have the sugar out of my body. And you can get that sugar out of your body in two to four days, depending on about your diet is. You can just get it out of your body if you stop eating it. Speak quickly. I will not speak quickly. Victory for Sylvanas. That's better. You stand before me as a figure of vengeance, and I bow down before you in thanks. She actually did bow there. With that cow's death. <laughs> and knowing that their seed will no longer spread over the face of Azeroth, I can put my energy into something more lucrative. I hope you looted their farmstead after you finished them off. I didn't do that, but now I kind of wish I had. It tells me these sell for more. Those are pretty good, though. Those aren't too bad, but I don't doesn't beat our spell power. I, well, I don't know. Hold on. Why isn't my add-on working? I was recommended an add-on by my Watch friend Drew. Back. Let me see if I've did I disable it? No, it's right there. 
Why isn't it working? Hold on, maybe it's hidden? No. Oh. oh, there it is. Wow, that was really weird. So does this actually... I am forsaken. Uh, yeah, as you mentioned. I'm trying to see what this does for us. I'm going to accept these. Beware the living. I want to see something. Okay, they're soul bound anyway. Yeah, this this add-on was re recommended by my my friend Drew. I think it's all it's called enhanced character something. What is it called, Drew? It's called I don't know what it's called. <laughs> what is it called? Hold on. If anybody's interested. In extended character stats. Yeah, and what I was hoping it would show me is, um, like, if I hovered over something, you know, this, what you're seeing there, the plus and all that, some of that comes from the pawn add-on, I believe. Might be built into the game now. I was hoping this would show me subtle changes. Uh, changes is. <laughs> subtle changes is. I just said it again. Subtle changes. So what I'm wrestling with here is five intellect better the same or worse as losing the three spell power. Because I know spell power is really good, but I also know intellect is really good. So what I'm going to do here is look at my bonus damage, I think, is essentially spell damage. So I'm going to see what happens when I throw these on. Well, naturally, it drops. <laughs> Crit chance. This is... Oh, this is pretty detailed in here. Holy crit. Nature crit. Wow, this really breaks it up. Shadow crit. Fire crit. 8.17. That's interesting. So when I lose the three spell power because of the int, see that fire crit? Actually goes up with these. So this is exactly what I was looking for, Drew. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, our crit, and I think that's what I want, right? Our crit chance actually goes up. So that tells me, that explains a little bit about spell power versus intelli uh, intellect. Now, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm missing something else out in here, right? We don't care about melee. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's interesting. I'm going to keep these cuffs. I'm going to keep the cuffs anyway, just because I've got some people on this channel who know what the hell they're doing and what they're talking about. It's not me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Yes, we are. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. You guys and gals, take care. Mr. Sorrow and Slew Rune and myself will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye. Peace.